Hello guys, welcome back. In today's video, we will discuss about uh, broadcast domain. In the previous video, we saw how we can uh, create IP space. In this video, we will create a broadcast domain and assign that broadcast domain to the IP space. First of all, what is broadcast domain? So broadcast domain is uh, a way of grouping ports so that all these ports can be used in the same networking layer. It means that whatever ports we are adding into the broadcast domain, it is unique to that broadcast domain and it cannot be part of a separate uh, broadcast domain. And these ports can be used for data or the management uh, access. So like IP space, by default, there are two broadcast domain which will be created automatically during the initialization process and that is default and cluster and these two broadcast domain will automatically be assigned to the IP space based on their name. That means the cluster broadcast domain will be assigned to the IP space cluster and uh, default broadcast domain will be assigned to the IP space default that we can see by executing the command network port broadcast domain and then show so here we can see these are the broadcast domain that is in the second column cluster and default and the respective ip space are cluster and defaults in the previous video we created ip space called ip space one so as i mentioned that uh, the ports will be unique within the broadcast domain. So if you want to use a port which is belongs to a different uh, broadcast domain, then first you have to remove it from there and then you have to add it to the new broadcast domain. So first let's create uh, a broadcast domain by executing the command network port broadcast domain create. The name will give uh, B domain one. Then it's asking for MPU value. Let's give it as uh, 1500. And here it's asking for the IP space and the IP space that we want to give it here is IP space 1. So no error comes up. It means uh, we have successfully created the IP space. We have not added any ports because first we have to remove it from the broadcast domain default. So that we will do now. So let's first remove the port from the broadcast domain default. In order to do that, execute the command network port broadcast domain, then remove ports then broadcast domain is default then what are the ports that you want to remove it so it's cluster 2 node 1 then column e0e e, and then the same command just a few modification here instead of node 1 just to mention node 2 so now if we will see the port details we can see that uh, the two ports are no longer belongs to default that we can add it to the broadcast domain B domain one. So in order to add it, execute the command network port broadcast domain add ports broadcast domain will be B domain one. Then ports that is E zero E of node one. We came across one error broadcast domain B domain one in IP space default not found. Okay, so probably we have to give uh, the options here IP space and uh, that is IP space 1. Let's hit enter. Yep, so the issue is resolved now. Similarly, we have to add the second uh, port that is E0E of node 2. So now let's execute the command network port broadcast domain show. Now we can see that uh, we have a broadcast domain B domain 1 under which we have two ports. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions or any knowledge to share, please comment, do subscribe and again, thank you for watching.